your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The domino effect of the coronavirus already taking place in Grand Bahama as 12 employees of a local daily were terminated this Wednesday morning. According to General Manager and Managing Editor of the Freeport News, Fred Stirrup, the local print station was already compromised due to Hurricane Dorian and the news had to be printed out of Nassau. Now, with the closure of the airports, there's no way to get the papers to Freeport and revenue generation has become a challenge. As a result, he says, the company made the difficult decision to terminate the 12 employees from various departments. These workers, he says, were given severance packages in accordance with the labor law. Stirrup notes that the Freeport News is now working with a skeletal team of six persons, and their main focus, he says, is geared towards online content and Facebook. Well, the veteran boxer and swim coach calling on every Bahamian throughout the length and breadth of the country to show solidarity this coming Sunday. Terry Goldsmith says that at 6 p.m. he wants every Bahamian to step outside their homes and make some noise to show the world that Bahamians will not be defeated by the fight against COVID-19. Go to that car, get your pot, whatever it is you want to make noise with, and blow the horn, hit the pot for 30 or 40 seconds or for a whole minute on Sunday, this coming Sunday, all over the Bahamas. Go on social media, let other people know. If we can get stupidness on, on the social media with all these fantasy ideas, we can send this worldwide. We could wake the world up it's, and let them know it's better in the Bahamas. Well, Goldsmith says that this initiative is in an effort to not only show support for frontline workers, but also regular citizens that have had to step up even more during this time. He says he also wants to send the message to reach the world that post-COVID-19, the Bahamas will be open and ready for business. What it's doing is showing our support and our thanks to the doctors, the nurses, the police, the defense force, right? everybody who's out there assisting us right, with this with this virus but it also goes beyond that right the mothers the fathers looking after their children right so we're going to thank them and as well as i tell the world that, be, that the bahamas has got its act together and when it's all over you are welcome in my country look see me i came here to marry a woman i met in college right that was 52 years ago. I ain't going nowhere else. I won't go. This is the place to be. This is paradise. Come back to us. See you soon. In news from the crime beat, 25-year-old Tremaine Moss of Woods Rogers Drive was arraigned before Magistrate Charlton Smith today on violation of bail condition and causing public terror. He pleaded guilty to both charges and was convicted and sentenced to three months on each count to run concurrently. Now, he was also charged with attempted murder. He was not required to enter a plea and was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services until trial. That's on Tuesday, May 26. The trial will proceed by voluntary bill of indictment. This arraignment is in connection with a matter that was reported to police on Friday the 13th of March. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this.